Okay, in a spline menu, we reach to remove section. It has two comments, optimize and weld. Okay, I want to explain. The weld and optimize, there are main purpose of those comments are for modeling option, for modeling, polygon modeling, I mean polygon, edge and points. But they are added in a spline and we have something to do with a spline that I'll explain you now. Uh, so there are special for polygon modeling, not a spline, but we can some work with the spline. We can sketch, a, for example, to a spline here, the create new spline is active. You can simply just, for example, if you select those points that from separate a spline, select both of them and then the weld. As you can see, if you're going most over them, it tells you you want to weld object in the middle of them on this object and in, on this point or on this point. You can select it. And it just connects to each other, not welding, not anything more. You can separate, you can separate the point. And as you can see, they are not weld. Okay, this is not weld for activity for uh, to separate object. The weld is uh, action, it's in one uh, spline. You select a spline that you want to work. And for example, you want to weld those points together. For example, those points make a weld going most over them. And as you can see, it uh, welds and connect a point in middle, going most over each point. And you can select in which point you want to weld for example, I want to weld in middle of them and done. As you can see, it's it's weld them in one point and they are connected. This is weld in each in uh, individual segment. But if you select two segments, it does not connect it for you. It's act like joint segment. You cannot join the segment between them. For joining them, you have to do something else that I'll explain you per ne next lessons. Don't worry. Another interesting tool for uh, for us is optimize. The main purpose of optimize is something else, but you can do it here. Select the spline line to activate it. First, we have uh, we want to subdivide that, and as you can see, for example, we insert uh, a spline line from other software. Of Illustrator, Corel Draw, or any software, Vector software, and we when we import that, we saw a lot of points here that we don't need them. In this point, we can optimize them. The optimize remove the point. The optimize sitting, those sitting are special for polygon. I will explain you in a polygon modeling in a mesh. But you pay attention to the tolerance. For example, I set it in a one centimeter. It means, please uh, remove the point and make them one. For example, those points, as you can see, they are very close to each other. Please remove the points that they are one centimeter uh, from distance from each other less. I mean, uh, between zero remove the point that our distance is between zero and one centimeter okay zero and one centimeter if you make it two zero and two centimeter the one centimeter is my grid spacing is okay and hit okay oh it's very bad make it another um, for example 1.1 okay test it and as you can see it's Remove some point, mm, make it bigger. And now, as you can see, it's Control Z. As you can see, those are very point that are together. They're, when you optimize that, the software removed them. But we have some issues here. Or, for example, I draw another with a sketch spline like this optimize it play with this 
a number for more accurate and best and desire your desired result hmm. it's not important right click subdivisions and as you can see we have a lot of points that we don't need them you can optimize it oh it's nice make it for example one point zero point one Uh, as you can see, our points are very far from each other. We need more tolerance for them. Mm. More, for example, one centimeter. And now it's act. As you can see, it's delete those other points that are very uh, close to each other. Okay, this is optimize about another example subdivision subdivision as you can see the optimizes act very well here one centimeter is not good and as you can see it's act like this it's remove your point and you can optimize your spline like this but as you can see, it actually remove all of those points. Okay. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.